Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Yo, what's up? How's it going? We are back with another reaction. We're going to be checking out Forest Teller's cover for Bohemian Rhapsody. So, uh, never heard about them before, so it would be nice to check them out. Without further ado, let's go check them out. Let's do, let's do. Is this the real life? Yeah, it's the first time I really hear about them as well. Is this just fantasy? Voice. Wow, the piano is different as well. Whoa. Wow. That low voice is really good. Wow, what an intro. Oh, it's wow. already like banging. <laughs> Mama. Oh, wow. Just kill the man. Put a gun against his head. Put my trigger now he's dead. Wow. Mama. Life had just begun. Nice one. Wow. Wow. Nothing really. Oh my god. <laughs> I like that voice. Even though it's quite similar, it's also quite different than the original yeah. already. Too late. My time has gone. Sun shivers down my spine. But it's aching all the time. Goodbye, everybody. I found to know. Whoa. I like that. I was just about to say, his voice was quite soft, but he can really make it quite aggressive as well. Nice one, epic. Hmm. Oh my god. Nice one. Okay, I think it's four of them, isn't it? <laughs> My special part. Nice one. Wow, so good. Magnifico. I'm just a poor boy, nobody loves me. He's just a poor boy from a poor family. Spare him his life from this monster city. That's interesting, you don't have as many drums on that part. Nice one. They made this part kind of more opera. Oh my goodness. Nice one. So you think you can solve me as So you think you can love me and leave me to die? Oh, baby. Wow, wow, wow. Nice voice. Just gotta get out. Just gotta get out. Just gotta get right out of here.
Wow. Okay, so I guess each one of them had a little part at the end now. Wow. I thought that the end is gonna be all of them together. Yes, they did, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. It just sounded to me like the end of it sounded to me like an end of a Christmas song for some reason. <laughs> wow. That was wow. That, that's... <laughs> this song is like so amazing. Like, it's so amazing and there's so many cool covers of it wow i've never heard about those guys looks like there's four of them what's really impressive as well that it's a um, live performance like they did live uh, well i don't know maybe they have you know the studio version recorded but what we watched here is like live performance mm -hmm. it was like so good so good the person that was singing with the bass low voice that was really amazing it was a very different kind to what I normally hear of, like a bass, bass in those um, a cappella bands like Home Free or Pentatonix voice play. You know, like it, it just sounded different. I don't know exactly what and why, but it sounded different. And even though the whole performance was very, or the cover was kind of similar in a way, melodies and everything to original, it was also different. I don't know how to explain it. But even the part on the piano was a little bit improvised at some points. When they're um, doing like the Bismillah, that part, the whole part, you know, in original song you have a lot of like drums going like together. But here it was very, they were there, but like very low volume. I don't know, I just found so many different things like changed but very slightly, like very micro adjustments, I would say, to the song. That was so good, so good. Like all of them had really good voices and the way they did it together. And that, that also that part, Bismillah part, sounded to me like an opera, which I think maybe in the original is also kind of supposed to be like a kind of like opera piece, but it was amazing. Wow, it was really good, really good. It's, I, I can see it's an Asian, um, Asian band, I'm not sure where they're from, but the you know the, the pronunciation, everything was very good. Like, I mean, most importantly, the voices were amazing. Wow, that was really good. Yeah, I've actually um, had opportunity to listen to quite a few covers of this song, and I'm always very skeptical when it comes to this particular song because one of my favorite songs from Queen, and. <laughs> You know, it's just very unique that you expect a lot when you get to listen to covers, you know. But this band did a marvelous job. I really love the song. I really love the, their own, you know, uh, rendition of, of this song. It was, the, their voices together was just spectacular. It was beautiful. Um, the, it wasn't exactly like um, um, Freddie Mercury's or the voices from um, the original but they had their own very unique and special voice. I love that aspect where they infused like um, the bass, you know, the bass in it was really cool. <laughs> I've noticed bass in songs lately have been so, you know, really cool. It sounds so nice. You know, we're also used to like this high notes, you know, little notes, high notes kind of voices. So when the bass comes in, it just blows the whole thing, you know, <laughs> and mm -hmm. it was really beautiful. The melody sounded almost, I'll say, I'll say almost exactly like, you know, how I would want it to be. There were like few changes here and there, but it, it doesn't really matter. It mustn't be exactly the same. It was very close. It was really close. I'm really impressed. So impressed. I, I would say so far, this is the one that is quite closest. 
um, to all the ones I've listened, you know, the covers I've listened, okay. this is the one that is quite closest to the original um, Bohemian Rhapsody for now. Still yet to check out more. <laughs> we'll get to see. But in general, they did so well. I really love their voices. I love the melody. I love the rhythm. Everything was just so on point. Perfectly. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> did the justice. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for hanging with us. We'll be back with lots of other reactions. Please do remember to subscribe to our channel if you're not subscribed yet. And we'll see you all in the next video. From us, it's bye. See you later.